are found a wide variety of basic materials. These provided by nature have been used in the service of mankind for many years. Wood, coal, light, water, oil, cotton, and many others. Until a short time ago, these things were used, just as they had been used for generations past. But in recent years, science took a The farm, the mine, the forest, even the air and the sea were called upon to contribute basic raw materials in response to chemistry's never-ending study and continuing research. And every year, DuPont buys from the farm, from the mine and the forest, vast quantities of materials to be converted by industry into products that provide better things for better living. everyday basic materials are converted into products of thrilling beauty and wide utility when modern chemistry and modern industry join hands in serving our modern America. The DuPont Company, one of the representative chemical manufacturers in this country, plays an important part in developing new things, better things at less cost, and in creating greater opportunities for employment. DuPont transforms natural raw materials into many chemical products. These go to more than 100 branches of American industry for conversion into articles that serve human needs and desires. This transformation is not the result of any supernatural power or magic. Rather, it represents years of systematic work by earnest, searching chemists. As we proceed with our tour of this wonder world, let's take a look at a few of these better things. You read them all, from products that bring comfort and happiness in your daily life to those which serve industry in the march of progress. shooting or skeet or in the field, millions of sportsmen derive much satisfaction from good ammunition made possible by dependable smokeless powder, a product of the chemist's skill, particularly when this ammunition is used in a fine Parker or Remington gun. And here is one of DuPont's early chemical contributions, dynamite. This industrial explosive has aided materially in the forward march of American progress. Building our railroads and tunnels. Development of fine highways. iron ore for modern building construction. Clearing farms and swamplands. Resting coal from mines. Serving in gigantic construction works where but for dynamite, black powder, and other industrial explosives, vast projects of national importance could never be realized. And now, let's learn something about how the chemist works in developing new products from familiar materials obtained from familiar places here and there. cotton and wood, plantations, vast acres of standing timber. From cotton and wood, chemists obtain cellulose, the fiber structure of practically all plants. From cellulose, chemistry creates an almost endless variety of new and fine things for modern living. 
sulfur and salt. Both familiar to us, but note the essential products which these two basic materials contribute to the laboratory shells. And so, after thousands of years of man's dependence upon products in their natural state, we find today our men of science drawing from these same basic well-known materials the parts and elements, the separate compounds needed to create new things, new articles better suited to our modern needs. For example, water, air, and coal. What can be made from these? Heat, steam, gas, perhaps, but wait. Now we're in DuPont's plant in Bell, West Virginia. Water, air, and coal, and chemistry are going to work. An ample supply of nitrogen in fixed form, particularly ammonia and nitric acid, is needed for a variety of purposes. Industry needs nitrogen. Farmers need nitrogen in fertilizers to renew the soil. And so here, nitrogen from the air and hydrogen from water are combined to produce ammonia. This chemical union is one of the real advances of science. Huge amounts of coal are required in the process. Forcing these two gases to combine requires pressures of astonishing intensity. Pressures as high as 15,000 pounds to the square inch. This ammonia is processed to make ingredients for the prices needed for America's agricultural lands. Thus chemistry has safeguarded forever a continuing supply of the vital compounds so essential to food crops throughout the land. Chemistry also gives the farmer seed disinfectants, his most powerful weapons to fight certain diseases carried on the seed and in the soil, aiding him to increase greatly the quantity and quality of his crops. Then too, in his struggle against all the hungry hordes of insects, chemistry lends a hand. It supplies the farmer with plant sprays and insecticides with which to protect his crops. In other fields too, Water, air, and coal contribute to our comforts and protection. Ammonia, changing from a liquid to a gas, absorbs heat, lowers the temperature, and gives us refrigeration. Water, coal, and air, when chemistry takes a hand, can blow hot or cold, change the mixture of gases, vary the pressure, and you have the chief ingredient of zero, an anti-rust, anti-freeze solution for your motor car. On with the march of chemistry. And now, one of the most recent achievements in this amazing field, chemistry that stretches. Let's hear a chemist explain what happens. Acetylene is chemically combined with itself, then with hydrochloric acid, and chloroprene is obtained. This produces a solid, tough, elastic product, extremely resistant to oils, solvents, heat, and even sunlight. So this chloroprene rubber, neoprene, is not a duplication of nature's handwork, but an entirely new creation of chemical science. Neoprene looks like rubber, acts like rubber, does practically everything that rubber will do, and is actually better than natural rubber for many purposes. Another example of how chemistry improves on nature. Neoprene is built through elaborate chemical processes from such well-known materials as limestone, coal, water, and salt and the finished product gives us scores of articles so essential to industry. And here is a story of a pinch of salt from the millions of tons which chemistry puts to hundreds of uses every year. Chemists take salt and make things as far apart as insecticides for the farmer and cosmetics for beautiful women. And from the same source come materials to case steel and bleach fabrics as white as snow. We all think of salt as a lucky material. We're lucky to have men who know coal again. We all realize its importance to us. It's light, heat, pop. But let's learn something more about this remarkable material from a chemist who will give us the facts. Coal, when distilled, produces a black gummy product known as coal tar. 
This substance yields a number of complex hydrocarbons, the crudes. These hydrocarbons are further... And that's important. Not so long ago, America got its dyes chiefly from foreign sources. Then this supply was cut off, which resulted in high prices and poor quality. This threw a challenge to the American chemist, and the challenge was accepted. Today, thanks to chemistry, America produces a complete range of dyes for every need, of a quality second to none. Flowers and coal tar, a strange pair. Yet, curiously enough, they hold something in common, fragrance. Nature gave fragrance to the flowers, but our friend coal tar got his from the chemist. That is, the chemist uses this substance to produce bases for perfume, which in turn become essences of delicate delight. Next time you look at a piece of coal, you can imagine a rainbow of color or a bouquet of sweet-smelling flowers. Here we subdue the laboratory tests, which are made in order to assure uniform quality and durability in the finished product. because of the coated textile fabric, DuPont Fabricoid, thousands of people today enjoy the style, color, and texture of this durable, waterproof material in hundreds of beautiful and useful articles. And incidentally, the well-known washable window shade material, Tontine, is also made by the same process. Now we begin again with cellulose in the making of a new and different product. Once transparent cellulose film was just an idea, now it's everywhere. A substance as beautiful and shimmery as a moonbeam, and it is produced from the towering spruce tree. Chips of wood put through various chemical processes result in a thick liquid called viscose. This liquid, forced through a long, narrow slit, flows evenly into an acid bath, coagulates instantly, and becomes a thin, flexible film. Then it is purified and bleached until it is crystal clear. And finally, it is subjected to a separate process to make it moisture-proof. And that amazing transformation created by chemistry gives you the familiar sparkling transparent cellulose film for which DuPont's name is cellophane. This partnership between cellulose and the chemist has created an astonishing array of beautiful and useful things. To make life happier and more enjoyable, it gives you still another product that has affected the lives of millions. Rayon yarn. Mother Nature is oftentimes far too slow for this fast-moving civilization of ours. She is wasteful as well, and seldom changes her own method of doing a job. So chemistry again departed from nature's age-old ways and turned once more to the forests and the cotton fields, this time for materials with which to make new textile yarns. By one process, a viscose solution is squirted through tiny nozzles into an acid bath and finally emerges as fine filaments for textile fabrics. Another man-made textile fiber made by a different process is the on a seal. Nowadays, no one need wait while a few generations of silkworms munch their leisurely ways through the leaves of the mulberry tree. Gorgeous fabrics of every kind, of every hue and shade, Modern fabrics of today are all chemistry and a yard wide. Behind this very scene, behind every picture you see on the screen, there is cellulose chemistry too. Motion to film, one of the important factors in modern life, begins as the fuzz and eventually becomes our entertainment, news, comedy, and drama. Look at that scene from our fashion review, as a scientist would see it under the lens of a powerful microscope. Photographic chemists acting on the sensitive emulsion which covers the film base 
etch delicate patterns of light and shadow that give us the pictorial reflection of nature's art and beauty in beautiful form. Chemistry also takes you behind the scenes of a different studio, the Human Workshop. Safety X-ray film made from cellulose acetate is an invaluable diagnostic aid to doctors and dentists in their treatment of injuries and disease. It also serves industry by searching the inner depths of metals for hidden flaws. But still, chemistry marches on. Chemical products of equal importance to the familiar things we buy daily are the heavy chemicals which to most of us are merely names, yet they serve too in almost every field of industry. They're their jobs to make our lives healthier, happier, and more complete. Nearly everything you use has been either created or improved by chemistry. Your clothing is made of better fabrics and has dyes. Your food has better protection, better refrigeration, better flavor. Your car has better finishes, better gasoline lubricants, better rubber. Your house has better paint, furnishings, and equipment. Every year, DuPont alone spends more than $6 million on chemical research. Research to improve existing products and to develop entirely new ones. And for the future, through the efforts of chemists, explorers in this new field will come new and even more remarkable developments. Products which will affect our lives and continue the march of chemistry in the progress of our country. And as the years go by, DuPont Company, which has served this country since 1802, will continue to provide for better living through chemistry.